स्टूडेंट्स TCP/IP protocol suite ke andar the layered architecture that we have deployed it follows the same rules the same set of principles that we just discussed in the protocol layering discussion students first of all there is logical connectivity between the layers on the source and the destination side students the bidirectional nature of the function that is performed by each of the layers on the source and the destination is also one of the principles that we spoke about then we talked about the objects that are present on each side each layer at the source and the destination ab students in concepts ko employ karte hain in a tcp ip protocol suite and we'll go to a slide and we'll understand how these principles how these concepts that we have understood when we were discussing protocol layering in general are applied to the tcp ip protocol suite students so as you can see on the slide once again we have got the same example network that we have discussed in this example you have got three lans connected by two switches and one router in between students so first of all you can see that there is a logical connection between the top layers between the application and the transport layer at the source and the destination so there is a logical connection from the application layer of the source to the application layer of the destination there is a logical connection from the transport layer of the source to the transport layer of the destination similarly you have got a logical connection of the network layer to the to the opposite end as well since the bottom layers the physical and the data link layers as you can see the logical connection does not span the whole of uh, the path that the upper layers took it is from the data link layer on one end to the switch or the router that's sitting in between so what we can say is that the domain of the duty of the top three layers application transport and network is the internet they span the internet and they go all the way to the other side which is the destination side but the domain of the duty of the two bottom layers the physical and the data link layer is the link not the internet the link that exists between that particular layer at the source and the logical connectivity of that with the switch and the router students moving on to the next slide we need to look at the function of these layers we will look at the bidirectional nature of the functions performed by each layer but before we do that we need to once again see the objects that are exchanged the objects that are created at the same layers on both ends so we'll start with the application layer and and by the way we have not shown switches in this in the slide because switches do not change objects only the hosts or the routers the layer 3 routers change objects so at the application layer our object is a message both on the source and destination side our object is the message at the transport layer our object is going to be a segment or a user datagram students network layer ke andar we are going to have similar objects once again and they are going to be datagrams then we'll have similar objects at the data link layer and we call them a frame and students at the physical level at the hardware level the objects that we use which are identical on both sides are called bits important concept so physical layers exchange data in the form of bits the data link layer data that is interpreted by the opposite side data link layer is called a frame the network layer data or the object is called a datagram and it's also called a packet on the transport layer we have got a segment or user datagram and then at the application end we have got a message 